Okay. Oh my now, God. I know I said, no, yeah, I did say that. I said the video that I posted on the other shit. Well, actually, no. I already made the I'm back video. I just made that. I'm watching, uh, because I'm a 2K head. Um, and I watch Agent Zero a lot. I'm finna start watching LSK, or I think that's his name. LSK. You lost a chance. LSK, yeah, because I watch Agent Zero. I shut, and these are all shout outs to them. I watch Agent Zero, The Book of Swante, Cash Nasty. I don't watch Jesser, but I know who Jesser is. Um, I was watching Lost and Unbound until I started watching these videos that said some shit I didn't like about him. And uh, I watch iPod King Carter, all of y'all. But I have just finished watching Agent Zero's video on this. And now I'm watching LSK's. I'm not even done yet with it. But uh, this is a... I figure I'll put this barrier up ahead. Because I'm a really smart person. Um, And I'm going to put this out too. Before I get on to this. And then I'll explain why I just said what I said. Should anything happen on YouTube to where this channel gets banned... I'm not going to care because where my career is going in the world, my career is my girl's career. Where my career goes, because I set the standard for my house and for the future of my family, where my career is going to go will decide what allows us to live. And as long as God is supporting that career, I'm not going to care. I'm going to go to the Air Force pretty soon, not too long. YouTube is a side job. Now I'm watching shit on YouTube about Lost and Unbound two years ago because I wasn't into YouTube like this until I moved out here, even though it was two years ago. But I wasn't paying attention to this shit because I had other shit going on and I'm just seeing it. I'm looking at Agent Zero and LSK's video of Lost and Unbound's exposure of um, him scamming people, basically. And the reason why I said... YouTube will not define the salary or what takes care of me or something like that. It's because for number one, being a Christian, some people can say can judge me for my mouth. Um, my mom has a mouth. My dad had a mouth when he was uh, in the military before he got saved. I have my moments. Don't confuse my personality with who I am because my personality or no. Don't confuse my attitude with who I am. My personality is who I am. My attitude will determine how you are. Or determines off of, yeah, how you are. Um, I'm learning a lot from doing this because I used to watch Lost and Unbound quite a bit when I was younger. But I didn't understand the shit that I'm listening to now because... I was a dumb kid, basically. Um, The purpose of me saying if YouTube was somehow become a salary to take care of us and we lost it, YouTube's not our main job. For the reason of me saying this is because watching this and hearing some facts from Agent Zero about if somebody hears certain things and they're a big name on YouTube that can... Do something to end your YouTube channel. I'm making this very clear. It does not bug me one bit if something happens to this channel because I got a dream out there. My girl has a dream. Whichever one of us or both of us gets it going. Whichever one of us gets it going or both of us get it going and we come successful in it. That's our main source of income, not YouTube. Now, the purpose of me saying that is because... I play 2K. I hope at some point I can become good enough in it to where I can make videos about it. And should that happen and I blow up, this is why I'm saying this. And th this is the the cautious shout out to Lost and Unbound. If I find out whenever I make my video about an idea that I come up with, you steal my idea, I will come to wherever you are at and me and you are going to have a talk. I ain't even going to kill you or nothing. This is going to be a talk. Because that's how I do. I do talk to people. I'm going to warn you. 
because I use brains over brawn. If you steal my ideas more than once, I'm going to get you for copyright strike. Because I don't think that there are some smart people out there that do do stuff like that or are quick to figure out how to do shit like that. Because of what I've been hearing so far, I don't think there's a lot of people that have done it. There's been a lot of people calling him out at the time for what he did. Or certain people calling him out for what he did, such as big YouTubers like the names I mentioned. But nobody's got him for copyright strike or something like that. And that's really easy to get considering uh, Jack Bill Gaming, another 2K YouTuber, just said, I, re I watched a video of him a while ago where Chris Smooth tried to get on his ass and get him for copyright or something like that to get his channel deleted, which was a big, a big pussy move to me for no reason because Jack Bill, everything he says just about is a fact about what's wrong with 2K Especially on their microtransaction shit, because that's bullshit. Because I lost a lot of money in 2K18 off microtransaction shit. And then I couldn't get not one damn single player to 99 overall. That's some shit right there. So, and 2K needs to fix that because ain't niggas don't have time to be trying to sit on 2K all day. Even the 2K YouTubers sometimes. Nobody finna sit in front of the TV and play 2K 24 hours a day for a whole week because doing that first of all you're a nerd and a freak you're gonna lose sleep and mess up your health doing that no normal person has time to grind their player to 99 overall and then 2k is making the grind extremely hard to do in the first place so 2k ronnie you're a fucking idiot you need to fix that stupid shit back on the topic like i said lost and unbound because i'm watching this shit right now if you steal any, and this is for anybody that tries it, because with either my videos, my girls, or both of ours, if you try to steal an idea of ours without asking, and I look hard enough and figure out you stole it from us, I'm going to contact YouTube and get you for copyright. For somebody like Lost and Unbound, making, because this video was two years ago that I'm watching on LSK, and he mentioned he makes a salary of 60000 in a month. Somebody making a salary like that off of scamming. Scam one of my videos or some of my videos after I've already warned you. I won't do too much talking. Because this is a side quest, yes. I'll never kill someone. Because, you know, I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that. I had correctional officers as parents and police officers in both. So I know that shit. And I've had family and friends of my childhood who are in that field. So I'm really smart in that. So I won't do anything stupid to put me in that, such as killing. However, like I said, this is a side quest, yes. At the same time, should this side quest bring us an extra salary in the house, I'm going to get really offended if I find out it's some of the ideas are being scammed because you're taking money from me and my family. And note, YouTube, I have a son. Just like some other YouTubers out there. I'm one of them. We have a child. And we're going to have more in the future. Lost and Unbound. If you do this shit when, and I mess around and become famous for my 2K shit. If you do that shit and you take money away from my family. After I've already warned you. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to find out. I'm going to ask YouTubers. Where are you staying? And come to your place. And me and you are going to have a talk. Fisticuff wise. And then if somebody asks why, I'm going to tell them this man is scamming people of their money. And I'm one of them. I got people to feed in my house and bills to pay. And he's taking my money away by taking my ideas. That, and I'm a big fan of, yeah, life is not fair. Obviously. But there is justification to be said. And I am all about, in certain cases, I'm a matter of fact, Overall, I'm about equality. Fairness and equality. If you got an imagination, you shouldn't have to scam people. If you have somebody that you're dating and y'all become a thing and they have an imagination, they will increase your imagination in some type of way. You do not need to stoop as low to steal somebody's stuff just to make money. Because what I've gotten from really observing Agent, I've been watching Agent Zero, Swante, those two specifically, 
for about two years now, or not two years, actually for about a year because this is 2019. So not two years yet, for about a year. I've learned a lot from the both of them. YouTube is a grind. People who have to come up have to be really, really dedicated to coming up and have a certain type of mindset and skill set in the field that they're chasing to become famous. Therefore, I do not respect people that try to bash them. No, not bash. Steal something from somebody else and not even hesitate, not even ask them about it in the first place. Asking and getting permission, that's one thing. You straight up stealing it and they have to figure it out, figure out you stole it. That's disrespectful. I'm not with disrespect. I don't take disrespect from children. I don't take it from adults. I walk away most of the time you disrespect me. But in a search of, if it's in a situation of what I've heard, if something was like this was to happen to me from you, Lost and Unbound, or anybody else that is a YouTuber that I know about, me and that person would have a problem. That's me being straight up about it. Because if you steal content from me consistently and you become good off of it, you're giving me an obligation to not only expose you to YouTube. To make them ban your channel. And if that doesn't work. You make another one. You go back and do it. Then you're really giving me an obligation to go. And whoop your ass. Because you, like I said. You're taking money from my family. When Agent made his video. And the other YouTuber. 2K YouTubers in, within the community. Talked about that from what I've gathered so far. I don't know if they have kids. I'm pretty sure some of them have girls. But either way. Say if they all have families of like two or three kids plus their girl. Lost and Unbound is taking money from those families. Regardless of the salary that those YouTubers get paid, they're losing money because of that person. I don't know if he still does it because I haven't researched into his videos like that yet. When I'm done watching some of these videos, I will to figure it out. Try to figure out if he's still stealing and scamming. And if he is, if you are... Everything I'm saying is obli is going to be open to you. Anybody can shout you out. I do not care. I'm. We are. My girl is probably more known to this channel than me. But for the times that I do come on here, yeah, I'm making an effort to do something. On this, I might not be known like that. Yeah, but on something like this, Lost and Unbound, I we, I can make myself known to you. Should you do something like that to a channel, if this channel got big enough and you stole some of our ideas or anybody, that's real talk about it because the world doesn't revolve around people stealing from other people. That's really petty in my book because you're not willing to put in the, your own hard work to become good on your own when, when you start a YouTube channel. You have to figure out how to do that. Before you even start, you should have the idea or some type of idea or plan how you're going to get big in the first place. When I first started my channel, I didn't know exactly what I was going to get big off of, but I knew there were, I liked video games. So I knew it would be off of a video game or something or my life in general. And I got life stories. Always will have them. Those can blossom the channel. So Lost and Unbound, because I don't know what the hell you be doing. You're not finna sit here and tell me you can't, obviously you're into basketball. I'm gonna assume you're into 2K. You're not finna tell me you can't have your own imagination to come up with shit to get your salary the right way instead of the wrong way. Because by all technical means, if somebody was to take it to that extreme, your ass would be in jail. You can go to jail for shit like that, I'm pretty sure. So if you keep fucking around with shit like that, like I said, I don't know if you still do it. But if you still do shit like that and somebody takes it to the extreme, you're going to go to jail. Yeah, you gonna be somebody bitch in jail. And somebody, lots of people going to be telling you, give me your booty when they figure out what the hell you were doing. Give me that booty, scammer boy. And to some niggas in prison, because, you know, I got correction officer parents, so I didn't been to a prison to talk to inmates. Some of them inmates say, you got a pretty face. Give me your booty. Looking like a white chocolate Kit Kat. Give me your booty. That's what I expe I would expect them to say. Because that's how niggas be thinking. 
that's the point of this video. Because when I re when I watch videos and I get an idea off of them, I'm gonna make a video about them immediately if it's something that's positive to me or something that I can see as a negative that might happen at some point. So I'm putting out a warning before then. This warning is too lost and unbound. My girl doesn't know much about you because I was watching you before I met her. I know I know just enough to where I used to think you were a good YouTuber until I knew I started watching Agent, Swante, all them YouTubers that you got into an argument with, and then I figured out there was some shit you weren't telling. If you can't be honest about what you're doing to people, that you're making money off of it, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place because you're not. we're not watching you to be lied to. We're watching you because we find what you do entertaining. If your entertainment is harmful to other people in any type of way of their life, you don't need to be a YouTuber. You're just a snake. And, and the niggas who know are going to be listening to whatever story should. I get the likes for those stories to bring them out. Niggas will know quick, I don't do snakes. That shit did. And there's a lot of people in the world that are like me. Might not be the same as me, but there's people in the world like me that don't like snakes. So, for your own sake, everything I just mentioned, don't do it. Because I'm not scared to do anything. I'm not even scared to kill someone if I had to. But, that's if I had to. If you had rabies or you were trying to attack my family and kill them. I mean, that's an obvious. Because, you know, God got me. I'm not scared of no nigga in the world. Because, yeah, I live my life by faith every day by waking up because of God and trolling through life because of God. Say them prayers every day. So, I ain't got nothing to fear. I made my point, Mr. L-U-M. So, I hope whoever watches this video, you look up his channel, say a comment to him that uh, Shadrach Stevenson made this video about him, entitled to him, and let him know. I am serious. Please. Say no clout. I ain't chasing no clout. I've been hearing that word a lot. I ain't chasing no clout. This is just something I see for a, a possible type of outcome that could happen at some point. So I'm putting the warning out for it now because my girl was into YouTube before I was. So like I said, I'm going to have my career in something before this. And I'm not chasing clout. But if she makes this successful, I won't let anybody mess it up doing any snake type things or methods for it. So that's why this warning is out there. Have a nice day.